Serato DJs, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to build the ultimate crate structure for beginners in Serato DJ Pro. Now, a lot of you have probably just got your brand new music library and you don't even know how to organize your music. So I'm just gonna walk you through how I would build a crate system if I was starting out on Serato DJ Pro. So you've probably got your music library in here. You've dumped all your music in like this. So the first thing you wanna do is have a look at all the different genres you have in your music library. So I'm gonna order this by genre and I'm gonna start at the top. So what you first wanna do is create a bunch of genres crates to cover all your genres in your Serato. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over to crate here and we're gonna just type in here, new Serato crate structure. Go back to all audio. So we're gonna do genres first. So we're gonna do another crate here, pull this inside like that and we're gonna put in here all genres, right? So we're gonna go back to all audio. So the first genre we have up here is Afrobeats. So I'm gonna create a smart crate here and I'll go plus, Add rule, genre is Afrobeats. Click save here. And then I'm gonna name this and call it, and call it Afrobeats. And then I'm gonna drag that under all genres. Now we're gonna do that for the rest of the genres. So the next one is Bashment. You have to kind of determine what genre that you wanna go with because with Bashment, it's not really a genre. Bashment is a type of party. So with Bashment, I would change that person to dancehall. So I'm gonna change this to dancehall. Then I'm gonna reorder this again and I'm gonna come back to this top one here. So the next genre we're gonna do is dance. So I wanna click this, go to add rule. Genre is dance, go to save and then pull that in here. Then we're gonna do dance here. Go back to all audio. Um, the next one is dancehall. Now, if you see here, these two genres here are dancehall in capitals or dance heel and D hall. We're obviously not gonna create a separate smart crate for this one here and this one here. We wanna just have one dancehall crate. So I'm gonna change these two to dancehall. So I'm gonna double click this and just type in dancehall. Press enter. Now, these are all changed to dancehall. So now what I'm gonna do is create a new smart crate. So I'm gonna go here, add rule, genre is dancehall. Go to save, then I'm gonna pull this in here, dancehall, now you can see all the dancehall tracks are in here. So back to all audio, next one is gonna be disco. Add rule, genre is disco, save that, type in disco here. And then the next one is hip hop. Now let's have a look at hip hop. So we've got hip hyphen hop, then we've got hip hop forward slash rap, then we've got hip capital hop. So I'm just gonna highlight all of these and then just change these to hip hyphen hop so they're all the same. Now we're gonna create a new smart crate and go to add rule, go to genre is hip hyphen hop and go to save. Now this one should have quite a few tracks in here. So I'm just gonna do hip, hyphen, hop, like that. Back to all audio, scroll down. So we've got Latin in here. So the next one is gonna be Latin. So genre is Latin. Save that. I'm gonna type in here, Latin, go to all audio. And we've got Motown here. Genre is Motown. Save that, let's go Motown. Um, these ones have no genre. So what you might have to do is go through your tracks and determine what the genres are. So I know that these five tracks here are actually UK music. So you've got Deep Lock Europe, Chunks, Bear Man and AM and Skendo, Skendo. So these are all UK tracks. So I'm just gonna just highlight these and put UK music, but I'm gonna, do this so we'll deal with the UK music at the end because it's obviously at the bottom. So the next one we have is pop. So all these tracks here are pop. So I'm gonna create a new smart crate and then just go genre is pop. Save that, move that into here. And then we're gonna go back to all audio, scroll down, we've got R&B here. So the next crate we're gonna create is R&B. Genre is R&B, save that, put that in there. And then we're gonna go back to all audio. Um, the next one we have is rock. We only have one rock song here. So I'm gonna go to add rule, 
genre is rock. Save that. Pull rock into here. All audio. So we've got soca here. So I'm gonna go genre is soca. Save that. All audio. Uh, we've got soul here. So plus add rule genre is soul. Save that. Move that into here. All audio. So now all these tracks here are UK music. I have quite a lot of UK music in here. So the next crate I'm going to create is um, genre is UK music. Click save. So we've got UK music here. Let me go to all audio again. Scroll down, and now I think that is it. So we've got a few tracks down here that haven't got any genres in them. So what we need to do is go through each of the tracks and determine what the genres are. But the good thing is we've already got our smart crate. So as soon as you start to populate these tracks, they'll automatically go into our smart crate. So say for example here, we've got A Boogie. A Boogie is a hip hop artist. So if we go into hip hop now, we see no tracks with a boogie. So just to show you for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna highlight these two tracks here and just mark them pink like this, right? So I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna go hip hyphen hop, okay? Click enter. Now, when we go to our hip hop smart crate, you can see that the A Boogie tracks are now in here. It's done it automatically because we have a smart crate set up for hip hop tracks. So if we go to all audio again, let's kind of just go down these tracks. We only have a few in here now to go through. So Boom Flick by Adonia. This is Dancehall. So I'm gonna go Dancehall like this. Uh, Bad Man Flex by Busy Signal is Dancehall. City Girls, hip hop. DeMarco is Dancehall. You really need to know your music and your artists when you're organizing your music library because it will make things a lot easier. Elephant Man, Dancehall. Fat Joe, um, Fetty Wap, Hip Hop. Uh, Frisco, Frisco Kid, Bashment Time is Dancehall. Um, Future, Jay-Z, uh, Hip Hop. Jeremiah is R&B. Then we've got Jonas Blue, which is R&B. Conscience, which is Dancehall. Scroll down, and then we've got Ludacris, which is Hip Hop. Amarion, which is R&B. Pop Calm, which is Dancehall. So we can start copying and pasting this now. Pop Hunter is Hip Hop. RDX is Dancehall. Then we've got Sexy Red, which is hip hop. And we've got Skilly Bang, which is dancehall. And then we've got Tide on a Sign, which is hip hop. Actually, drop that kitty Tide on a Sign. Let's have a look at that. So that's that's more of a pop track. So I'm going to put pop in here. Then Vibes Cartel, we all know he is the king of dancehall. So. That is all our genres covered. So if we scroll up now, every single track in this music library has a genre and all our genres should be in here. So we've got all our Afrobeats tracks, all our dance tracks, all our dancehall tracks, disco, hip hop, Latin, Motown, pop, R&B, rock, soca, soul, and UK music. We've now got all our genres covered. The next thing we need to do is cover all the years for our tracks in our music library. Now, the years are gonna take a little bit longer, but once you've set it up, you don't have to do it again. But having the years is really good if you wanna play certain eras or you wanna play certain years. So what we're gonna do next is close that and then we're gonna do a new crate and put all years, right? So if we look at my music library and order this by year, we can start to see that we have some tracks in 1969 all the way down to 2023. And then we have a bunch of tracks that have 000, which haven't got the year set for them, which we'll sort out later. So all years, the first smart crate we're gonna do is all the tracks before 1990. So I'm gonna add a rule here and go year before 1990, right? And I'm gonna click save here. Now these are all the tracks before 1990. 
Now, as you can see, this is bringing in tracks that have zero, 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 zero. So if we go back into edit and we add another rule and go year is after zero, zero, zero and click save, that will get rid of the zero, zero, zero track. So what we're going to do now is actually create a new smart crate for the zero, zero, zero track. So I'm going to put smart crate and then just go year is zero, 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 zero. All right. Now all the tracks in here haven't got a year, but we're going to get back to that later. So I'm going to do that and put zero, 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 zero. So the next year we're going to do is 1991. Like I said, people, it's going to take a long time, but once you've done it, you won't have to do it again. So we do year is 1991. Put this in here. We might not have any tracks in here with 1991, but once we start building up our music library, the tracks are automatically gonna start populating into here anyway. So the next crate is gonna be 1992. Year is 1992. Save. 1992. Then we're gonna go 993. I'm just gonna blast through all of these because like I said, it's going to take a really long time. Now that's all of our year crates done. So if I close that, we've got the 90s tracks in there and then we've got the 2000s tracks in there. So now all years is covered. Now, once you add in any new tracks into your Serato library, it's going to automatically get populated into your all years and, all, and your all genres as long as they've got the metadata inside. So if you have a look at this now, all the years in here and all the tracks in here are covered. At the start, I obviously said that we've got some tracks that have no year. So if I go into here, these are all the tracks in here that have no years for these tracks. But for all these tracks, you can either go through these manually or you can use my app, Music Library Tools, Years and Genres to get the data. Simply, all you need to do is drag these tracks over onto MLT Years and Genres and it will populate the tracks if it finds it in the database. I'll leave the link to that in the description down below. So now what we have is our new Serato crate structure. We have all our genres here and all our years here. Next up, what I like doing is creating smart crates for all the file type so I'm just going to go into here and go all file types and then I'm going to create a smart crate here and go add rule file name contains dot mp3 I'm going to click save and then I'm going to drag this in here so these are all going to be all my mp3s and then there's going to be some other file formats in your music library so they're going to be things like dot m4a go save there might not be any in here, but you probably have some in your music library. Then we're going to click this and go to add rule. Then I'm going to do file name it contains dot wav. Save that. No wav files in this music library. And then the last one I'm going to put in here is file name contains dot flack. And then click save. There's no flack files in here but it's good to have this. So obviously the main file type we have in this music library is MP3s. All our MP3s are gonna live in here. So now we have our new Serato crate structure. I hope you lot followed along and you was able to create your crate structure for your music library. If you want this exact crate structure, check the link in the description down below. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here.